Yeah, I wish I, I, I'm watching that clip. I, I just really regret again that I wasn't able to make the launch of Gina Miller's new party yesterday. Not just because I could have doubled the size of the audience, but because it would have been just so fun to have seen that lack of charisma going on in person, to hear those banalities all wrapped up as if they were new. You know, uh, she said things like, we want to address real issues for real people, as opposed to all those politicians who stand up and say, I want to address unreal issues for totally imaginary folk. Um, anyhow, but the point is, is yeah. Gina Miller, this is, this is a great, a, 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 a part of just an absolute top of her career, because remember all those years where Gina Miller was dragging out her court cases uh, uh, against Brexit, she always said it was a sort of um, a non-political act. Whenever anyone said, aren't you interfering yeah. in the nation's politics? She said, no, no, no. Hang on a minute. I'm purely exercising this legal right and testing a legal strategy just to make sure that we're doing the right thing. The, the testing always ended up to be to try to stop us leaving the European Union. But it was always as if it was a sort of pseudo academic exercise. <laughs> very interesting test. Yeah. And yet, amazingly, it turns yeah. out now that Gina Miller had political ambitions all along. Who could have guessed it, Mark? Who could yes, have guessed it? Yes, yes. 